We're next play. We help companies. We help companies engage, upskill, and retain their employees at scale. Career development is an ill-defined path. Being good at your job is not enough, and it's left up to employees to navigate their own career trajectory and find mentors and sponsors within their companies. Especially women, minorities, and introverts suffer. And I know this because I'm all three. I'm a trifecta here. The workforce is becoming increasingly millennial and increasingly disengaged. The number one thing we want in a job is, does it help us with our career growth? And the number one reason we leave a company is because we don't see that career growth happening. And again, I know this because I was one of these disengaged millennials while working at LinkedIn in enterprise sales. But very serendipitously, a mentor discovered me and she changed my life. She made me a top performer and I stayed at LinkedIn for three more years and I paid it forward. I started the Global Mentorship Program for women at LinkedIn. But I there firsthand experienced the limitations of scaling such efforts and building stickiness in the follow through. And I learned that most mentees don't even know what they want. How do you solve for that? Around the same time, I met my co-founder, Nawar, who had eight years of experience building beautiful mobile products and leading technical teams. He grew up in the Middle East in a war zone, and I grew up in India in scarcity. So when we met, we instantly connected on our mission. We both fundamentally believe that Talent is equally distributed, despite the fact that opportunities are not. So together, we started Nextplay. We have a proprietary approach where our mobile app has a conversational experience with individual employees, understanding their aspirations and blind spots. It understands their career pathing within a company and matches them to internal mentors, and in the future, also internal job opportunities for internal mobility. Customers love it. In just a year, we hit 130K in revenue, and 100% of our pilots are converting to annual contracts. And we have a million dollars in our sales pipeline. There's a lot more where that comes from, because according to Harvard Business Review, companies around the world spend $356 billion a year on talent development. It's a massive but broken industry. They have no way to measure ROI. Millennials are asking for personalized feedback and growth opportunities, and companies cannot offer that at scale without technology. And globally, companies are losing $30 billion due to employees leaving, plus lost productivity. But now, for the first time ever, there is a tool built for end users and not for HR. We make career growth easy, effortless, and fun. We help the users visualize their career paths in a gamified way. And we match them to mentors, not just based on what they tell us, but also based on the blind spots we perceive from their ongoing behavior. On top of that, we understand that most mentees don't know how to navigate this, and there are a lot of first-time mentors. So we send them intelligent nudges, reminders, and education on their smartphones and their Slack, which is tailored to the individual and their blind spots and goals. After, three months, after six months of working with our approach, users on average felt twice as equipped to achieve their goals, and 25% more employees now strongly recommend working for their company. In the interest of time, I'm going to skip through some of the slides, but our early adopters include companies like Lyft and Ashorian. I believe they're in the audience somewhere. And we're targeting fast growth companies with over 1,000 employees. In the general landscape of mentoring and coaching tools, we're different from corporate diversity products like Glassbreakers, as well as marketplaces like BetterUp and Everwise that have mentors outside of one's company. Whereas we, we focus on internal mobility and institutional knowledge based on an individual's blind spots and perceived goals. Our vision is to be the workforce acceleration tool, and we are bringing together our experience from companies like LinkedIn, 
and our advisors and investors like 500 startups and LinkedIn's head of engineering. We're about to go raise our seed round, and if anything that I said resonated with you, please come chat with us. Thanks. Hi. It would be great to know more about what the experience is like uh, for the employee. So can you give us an idea of like who is the target employee, what kind of role are they in, and what kind of do they get a promotion from using this solution? What kind of outcome do they normally have? Yes. Um, most people don't understand what mentorship is and how a mentor is to be utilized. And most people, when they feel stuck, they think, oh, if I have a mentor, I'll just get unstuck. So a huge part of what we do is help people first become aware of what their goals are, and then we match them to a mentor once they get there. That said, we've, plugged this, we've um, picked this approach and plugged it into various business environments. So we have um, a media agency based in Asia Pacific. We're powering their entire high potential program. Uh, we're supporting Lyft's uh, women's group, and their mentors are across the board, including their head of marketing, their head of learning and development. Um, so the purpose, the why, is more of a business conversation that we have with the executive sponsor. So what kind of, two questions, what kind of data do they need to provide? And then how, is, is there a matching function or how are the mentors identified? Mm -hmm. Is it a company, the buyer, you know, the HR lead? Yes, so um, our roadmap is to um, direct this towards tying more and more with company policies where potentially a mentor can leverage their impact created to get promoted, to become a manager, et cetera. But currently, um, because we're only a year old, and so we've had mostly pilots at relatively smaller scales, uh, scales with a couple of hundred employees. And so the mentees and mentors are either targeted based on the business need, or they're self-selected mentors. So Charo, I, I got to say, yes, this resonates, I think, with everybody. Everybody wants more engagement and mentorship and career development. And so the challenge I think you've got is you got to convince us that you're different from all the other companies that have a, an engagement, enhancement, career development, values, blah, blah, right? And so I needed you to say, what I want you to say, okay, you can say it now, right? <laughs> so there are all these other employee engagement solutions out there. Every one of them, you know, doubles an engagement, doubles positive attitudes, doubles retention. You know, all of these, we hear these pitches all the time. Why are they falling, why are they going to fail, but you're going to succeed? Yeah, so I think it's an ecosystem. It's a complex ecosystem, and there are startups tackling this problem from various angles, and I hope they succeed. But the companies we are directly competing with, I'll tell you why we're different. So they are essentially databases of mentor and mentee profiles, where all the onus is on the mentee. Right, but, but okay, mentorship is just one way to improve employee sure. engagement. So your competition is not just all the other mentorship programs. Your competition are all the other employee engagement, career development um, companies that are out there. Yeah, so um, again, I think um, um, there isn't one solution to every problem. Uh, there is a place for better up in the ecosystem where they provide external coaches um, to managers and above. But the problem we solve for, that nobody else has solved effectively for, is internal mentorship. Okay. And how, how hard we, is that to solve for? What's that? What is your secret sauce? I mean, so if you, the unique angle is internal mentorship. Yes. I mean, then, aha, yeah, we can do internal. Aha. What's your uniqueness? Why is it, why are you brilliant at internal mentorship? But, you know, Microsoft cannot do internal ment mentorship itself because they don't get it, is that it? <laughs> no, um, so I wanna be careful because there are a couple of competitors <laughs> in the room. Um, but, and so happy to share more in person, but high level, it's different because we understand the user needs. I've been a mentor, a mentee, and ran a mentoring program. And we've spoken with thousands of end users and we understand the basic things like how mentorship should be time bound. And what do you give to a mentor or a mentee? Or how the biggest challenge a mentor has is lack of follow through, right? So how do you automate some of those 
feedback loops, thank you notes, increased self-awareness, we're using our proprietary algorithms and intelligence about the user. But very happy to chat with you in person, offline. Um, I have a question about, I guess, the market. Um, you know, what percentage of companies you think out there have budget, right, for customer, I'm sorry, for employee engagement, retention, coaching? Because across these companies, even the ones on the competitive slide, right, who are doing, you know, pretty well, most of them will sell only to tech companies or mostly tech companies, right? And outside of tech, and in case, you know, the economy isn't as good as it is now or, you know, things turn, like, who's actually going to pay for this? And is it a nice to have versus is it super yes. urgent to the organization? Great question. I've spent the last year trying to figure that out, and I think we're very close to really being able to articulate that. So it's a nice to have when you just talk about employee resource groups, unfortunately, or um, helping employees feel happy in a workplace. But when it's about upskilling talent and redistributing your institutional knowledge to, as a team, collectively execute against your business plan, then it's a strategic tool. Um, talking about the budget, Tech companies actually have the smallest learning and development budgets. So of the customers we have, um, we have the largest conglomerate of media agencies based in Asia Pacific, their Asia Pacific regional headquarters. Um, we have an insurance tech company headquartered in Nashville. We have a couple of tech companies in the Bay Area. But uh, this problem is way bigger than just tech, and they usually have budgets way larger than tech companies. Thank you, Charu. Thank you. Thank you.